Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Heller. Happy Tuesday, happy Taco Tuesday. And today is election day. So if your parents have not sent in their ballots or dropped off their ballots, tell them to get to the school today so they can vote. It's really important. Today I'm gonna to read to you Sofia Valdez, Future Prez. Prez is a short way of saying president. Let's read about Sophia. Sophia was a baby who got things done, helping her family before she turned one. She and Abuelo went out every week to help elderly friends around Blue River Creek who couldn't get out and about on their own, and with no place to gather, were stuck home alone. So she and her abuelo, which is the Spanish word for grandfather, go and help all the elderly people, and elderly means older people. And so they go to the grocery store for them and run errands and help out. It's very kind. Raking leaves, taking pets for a walk, or just dropping by for a treat and a talk. Sofia Valdez did as much as she could for family and friends and her whole neighborhood. A dreamer, a doer, a real life go-getter. Most people like good, most people like good, <laughs> but Sofia liked better. Each morning, Abuela walked Sofia to class. They walked home again along Blue River Pass, making plans, munching cookies, Abuelo and girl, except for that Tuesday when the pup saw the squirrel. With a howl, pup took off racing through the town, over, under, beneath, and around. Sophia scrambled to try to keep up with the hollering man and the bellowing pup. Ah, ah, ah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> up, the up the squirrel ran to the top of a hill made of leftover junk from the, for the local landfill. They reached the tip top of that mountain of trash which jiggled and broke with an ear-splitting crash of that junk. Down they tumbled and hit with a thud on moldy old pumpkins surrounded by mud. Ouch, cried Abuelo. He struggled to stand. A dangerous mess, he said, grasping her hand. The next day, Sophia walked to school solo, but it wasn't the same without her abuelo. This is not right, declared young Sophia, who glared at the Mount Trashmore and got an idea. Hmm, I wonder what she's thinking about. You, can you make any predictions? Wonder what she's going to do. Let's find out. The very next morning at half past dawn, she planted a sign at the front of her lawn. She stood back and smiled and Pup gave a bark. Get rid of Mount Tra Trashmore. Let's build a new park. Oh, she has a great idea to get rid of that mountain of trash and build a park there. Each of her neighbors had something to say about benches and fountains and places to play meeting spots, gardens, a basket for bees, a rubber duck pond, and a kiosk for cheese. She drew every thought on her map of the park, which was perfectly perfect, by a quarter till dark. We had lots of great ideas for it. She drifted to sleep in her soft, cozy bed, then BAM! She woke up with a th thought and smacked her head. Her heart skipped a beat and she realized each one of her neighbors has said, let me know when it's done. 
They thought Sophia could build it all alone. But how could one girl do so much on her own? The weight of that thought made her tender heart ache. As night thunder growled, she laid wide awake. The bro dawn brought a storm, and the gloomy sky wept, and the heart-sick Sophia finally slept. Abuelo baked cookies when Sophie got up. He made her a bagful and sneaked one to pup. He blinked back a tear as he hugged his Sophia. For courage, she whispered. Te amo, ma mi vida. I think that means he loves her. My Spanish-speaking friends could tell me. Te amo, mi vida. Sophia's knees wobbled. She felt weak inside. She looked at his ankle and quite nearly cried. Though she didn't feel brave or courageous at all, Sofia Valdez went to face City Hall. Well, City Hall is where all the people in the government who make the laws are. There it is. Little Sofia. Going up those big steps to that big building. She's pretty scared. The mayor's office sent her to room 401, the Blue Creek River Creek Department of Fun, which sent her downstairs to room 302, the office of duck ponds and cool things to do, to the office of monkeys, the department of cheese, the division of fountains and meetings of bees, then down to the basement, so musty and cramped, where all the townspeople were sorted and stamped. I'm sorry, the town's papers were sorted and stamped. And that's where the clerk said what no one else did. You can't build a new park. You're only a kid. The words smacked Sophia down deep in her heart. Her plan was kiboshed before it could start. I think, said Sophia, I think that law's wrong. But her second grade voice didn't sound very strong. The clerk said, clearly it cannot be done. Do you have any questions? Sophia said, one, if you were me and if I were you, and he was your grandpa, what would you do? I, oh, well, said the clerk. Then she said nothing at all. She thought and she thought. Then she sent out a call to every employee throughout City Hall. The entire government of Blue River Creek crammed into the office to hear Sophie speak. But her words jumbled up and her cheeks turned bright red and a dozen emotions rushed out into her head. Her heart beat so loudly she thought it would crack. The crowd leaned in closer. Sophia leaned back. Then her arm brushed the edge of the old cookie sack. And that was the moment when Sophia first knew being brave means doing the things you must do, though your heart cracks with fear, though you're just in grade two. She took a deep breath, looked the mayor in the eye, and though her knees wobbled, she held her head high. Sophia started talking. She spilled out her plan and why it all mattered and how it began. And once she got rolling, she had lots to say about meeting spots, monkeys, and places to play, and other ideas for things they could do to help town elders and other folks too. She had thoughts on the library, thoughts on the zoo, and perhaps the way to combine the two. A library zoo, that's a great idea. All right, cried the mayor, go start a petition. If the town wants a new park, Park will form a commission. And so young Sophia got right to work with some help from her family and pup 
and the clerk. Then others joined in, not all, but a few, like Miss Lila Greer and the kids in grade two. So her teacher and her friends all helped her. There were hearings and surveys and taxes to figure, then bulldozers, crane, and a big blue bigger digger. They all built that park. That's how it got done with the hard work of, of, by, and for everyone. But it began with the dream of one person, just one, who laced up her shoes and then led the way to help Blue River Creek get a new place to play. Now every evening till long after dark, the town comes together at Citizens Park. They all hold this truth to be self-evident that Sofia Valdez could grow up to be president. Until then, Sophia, the real life go-getter, helps Blue Creek, Blue River Creek get better and better. The end. Now boys and girls, I think the message that this wonderful author wants to tell you is that even kids can make a difference. And even you can grow up to become a president. If you work hard and you set your mind to your goals, you can achieve anything, just like Sophia did. She set her mind to build that park, and she got others to help her, and it became a reality. And boys and girls, you can do that too. I hope one day one of you will become the president. I will vote for you. Boys and girls, have a great day. And don't forget, tell your parents to vote.